All right. Hello again, adventurers, and welcome to another exciting episode of Traversing the Veil. Yes, this is one of my homebrew D&D games set in my weird, messed up campaign setting uh, that uh, is continually uh, making my therapist worry about me uh, and the people below me uh, are the uh, p -p people that um, haven't quite figured out the right way to go. You know, Jody, maybe you should talk to somebody. I do. <laughs> maybe you should talk to someone else then. Um, so. You know, the, the kind of people that have editors. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe someone to type out all your ideas for them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, announcements. Uh, Journeys to the Radiant City uh, Citadel came out um, yesterday, I th th think it was. Um, I've got a review for it on my YouTube channel. It's YouTube. I say it at the end of every episode. You can find out other than... Talkie is hard. It um, is. I can help with that. <laughs> Can't do it for myself, but I can do it for you. I, I'm, I'm not kidding. Now I watch, like, I don't know if you are uh, f -f familiar with uh, the song Hey Tambourine Man. Mm -hmm. But uh, the group that sings it, one of the singers pronounces their S's with the flat of their tongue instead of the mm. tip of their tongue. And every time I watch them, I immediately think of Chax. So I go, I wonder, wonder if that's something that Chax... I wonder if that's even something that needs to be fixed or not or not. Maybe, maybe I'm is, the one that does it wrong. Where are they from? Uh, I have, uh, California, I believe. If they're of, like, Spanish or Portuguese descent, it's not uncommon. No, these guys are super white. Oh. Yeah, it's supposed to be the tip of the tongue, and it's supposed to be a pretty clear, sharp S if it's general American English, but... Yeah, it just... Because <laughs> every... <laughs> the I'm music sorry. video for Hey Mr. Tambourine Ran, whether it's on those, like, Time Life... Uh, Time Life Classics, 100 songs spread out against 47 records or two tapes. <laughs> and then they'll show that everything's... And you always see... You know, hey! And it's always, oh, hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a thong for me. And it drives me nuts. Because you can't hear it on the recording, but they close up of his face. And okay, I can see that yeah. in my dreams. <laughs> well, if, if it's like pressing up against his teeth, I thought you meant like it was more it's, palatal, like S. It's it's the top of uh, it's the top of his mouth just behind his teeth. The place where you okay, would normally put the tip of your tongue he just Alveolar uses the flat ridge. of his tongue so it's it's actually hey mr tam so it's so it's interdental so yeah Miss. that's that's yeah it's this it's miss a placement instead mm -hmm. of miss yeah so yep that is uh uh well depends on how old they are it's probably a disorder by this point <laughs> well he was in his 20s so i don't know what yeah. that means anyway that's how my weird brain works Ta -da! Yeah. don't well, worry mine too it's gotten to the point that Fix, my fiance, who you guys don't know, um, will also pick up things and he goes, here, here, listen to this guy. Listen to him singing. What's going on with him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has a praxia. He had a stroke. He has a cloth palette that was repaired. I was like, really? I'm like, one of those is right. <laughs> it's possible. You don't yeah. know. Exactly. It's... No, it's very evident. <laughs> I swear we will get to D and D in like two seconds, but I have to talk about how weird I am. Uh. <laughs> Every D and D game you talk, you start, you you talk bullshit it before you get to the actual game. It's the D and D experience. Yeah. Um, I'm a proponent for this. Always. I was watching um, Rebecca uh, Force Minish. Um, she's uh, uh, she's a streamer. She's really really cool. Um, she has stuff with uh, Zelda Universe every so often. Uh, I was watching Rebecca stream, and uh, her Bluetooth uh, controller went haywire. And she had to shut down the stream and do all this weird, weird stuff. And so when she finally came back, I came back while she was off. And she came back and I'm like, hey, what, what went wrong? She's like, oh, I don't know what happened. I, I switched over to a wired controller because my Bluetooth controller just wasn't working. Like the computer froze and did all these things. I said, do you use onboard Bluetooth? 
What do you mean? I said, do you have a little dongle thing that you plug in for you, Bluetooth, or is it built into your motherboard? It's built in. I say, disable it on the motherboard, spend 10 bucks on a Bluetooth dongle, and buy a Bluetooth dongle. No one can figure out why I spent, literally, I spent 10 hours trying to fix this on my own computer because nobody talks about it for some odd reason. But onboard Bluetooth confuses your motherboard and will cause uh, whatever Bluetooth device you're working with not only to stop working, but it will not let you uninstall it. It will not let you turn it off. Nothing. It completely freezes all Bluetooth controls. And you have to restart your computer, manually uninstall it, restart again, and then reinstall it to do anything on your Kuka computer. Bleh. And she, she looks at me, she's like, how did you know that? I'm like, I used to be a computer tech, and now every time something goes wrong, I instantly go into tech support mode and go, have you tried this? Have you tried this? I feel that. <laughs> I feel that. It's, it's annoying. Mostly, and, have you turned it off and turned it back on again? <laughs> try, my, try uninstalling it and reinstalling it. My, my have you tried kicking it? <laughs> I, do, I, I use, have you tried hitting it with a mallet? But it's the <laughs> same basic principle. The thing that really upsets me... Have you me, tried sacrificing to our dark lord? <laughs> I'm like, when's the last time you made a blood sacrifice? Because it, it may be that you're 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 under uh, quota. But the thing that annoys me the most... But it also depends on where you're putting the blood. So you got to yeah. be specific in that too. Yeah, definitely. Because um, I used to do phone tech support. And I, used, I was really good at... I could fix computers over the phone um, nine out of ten times. Uh, cause I was just really good at like visualizing and I just have, okay, tell me what's on your screen. Okay. Click this, do that. Um, so I'll be like in someone's Twitch chat and I'll be saying, do this, do this, do this the exact same way I used to. And, um, I'll have seven other people saying the wrong thing and I'll have to be going, guy, just shut up. I'm a computer tech. Please stop talking. I'm trying to no. fix this so they can go back to playing games. My favorite part of, uh, trying to get phone tech support is... Well, it should be over here. But why is there a cloud on there? And there's a crab who's walking across my screen. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? <laughs> I, can't, I, I don't see the start button. What does that look like? How do I right click? What is this worm thing? <laughs> oh, God, I was just bring it in. Do you have a, uh, do you have a Mac or p -p 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 PC? Uh, I don't know. Uh, does it say Windows? Open the window? OK. Does that help? <laughs> Is there an Apple symbol on the side of your computer that looks like it has a bite taken out of it? Yes? Man, no. Do you have, okay. Man, do you have the box the computer came in? Yes, yes, I do. Okay, what I want you to do, unplug everything, put it back in the box, tape it back up, ship it, it back, back to, to whoever store. gave it to you. You are too dumb to use a computer. I actually no, told favorite, one of my clients, my not that, always. specifically. Right but my last client, I literally told her, um... You need to get into the computer tech. Um, you don't pay me enough to deal with this, and I would feel bad charging you enough to deal with this. Have fun. At one of my jobs, the person who was in, who was in charge of the place, she erased the hard drive. <laughs> oh. I'm not. Do you have any idea how many prompts come up regarding erasing your hard drive? Have you ever dealt with someone that deleted Sys32? Holy shit. That's a super fun one. Because that's that's one that you don't even know Sys32 exists unless someone tells you where to go. Like, it's a hidden folder. You have to know how to unhide your folders to even find the damn thing. That's but that's how you get that's how you get rid of all of those, you know, random fragments and the viruses and stuff. You have to unhide your folders and then click into things and delete <laughs> them if you don't know what they are. Definitely. One of the things that used to happen in Especially. World of Warcraft, people would ask in like uh, global chat, how do you fix this? Alt F4 was mm -hmm. every single time yeah. it's like, oh, Alt F4 fixed that. Really? And then <laughs> They would stop messaging for a while, and all of chat would just explode. Yep, yep. So oh, we got another one! I, that seems to be an ID10T error. Um, <laughs> Alright, do you guys want to play some D&D, <laughs> maybe? Yeah. Did I say good? <laughs> oh, take humor. Ah, tech support. Stop talking about computers, you frigging nerds. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, uh, no. 
I have a link around here too. I think it's on my yeah. bed. I was looking at her. I was like, "Is that the oh. Curie plushie?" And I was. <laughs> I had. I'm, I'm not kidding. The moment it was announced, I had it purchased. Uh, I wasn't even watching Critical Role that night. I just saw a tweet where they mentioned. It. I'm like, mine. <laughs> that was back. That was back when I was actually able to keep up with Critical Role. I remember because they got they got Curie shortly before the cupcake incident, and I remember watching the uh, cupcake incident live, and that was amazing. All right, so I think it's time to return to traversing the veil. Abia is a strange city. Anyone from outside would tell you it's lawless, that crime rules the streets. But as soon as you get there, you realize there's order, there's a structure. And if you don't follow that structure, you can get into trouble pretty quick. So what happened with the p -p party as they wandered around, they upset the local Kuku community and got targeted by some street thugs. After recovering from that, they took a job to try and get some renown, hopefully get the ability to go to one of the higher tiers that are controlled by those with wealth and power. And then they were approached by a rather distinguished gentleman. He identified himself as part of Anonymity, the Assassin's Guild that runs the city. They mentioned that the previous group they'd had problems with, well, had upset Anonymity. And they were charged with dealing with them. So the party made some preparations. The party went to stop this group from making an illegal assassination. What they didn't know is anonymity didn't have 100% belief in their abilities to do what they were going to do. So they sent some insurance along. And Aladra, who had recently arrived in Abia, during the conflict, Things almost went according to Papa plan, much better than was expected. But near the end, Arai, their new acquaintance, did feel the need to step in. And now, all but one of the would-be assassins are dead. And that is where we return. But you're going to have to excuse me for a minute because there's someone out my door. Okay. Popper! <laughs> Sorry. Hello. Fine. Meanwhile, I just like the record to show. I showed incredible restraint every time you said anonymity. I did not go. Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> God damn it! Madonna. Madonna. Fun fact: most um, ginger ale is caffeine free. And ginger is a uh, natural anti-nausea. Also anti-inflammatory, isn't it? I have no. Uh, ginger is apparently a mu uh, uh, a miracle root. Like it does everything, <clears throat> and it's so tasty too. It tastes just like candy. Yeah. Calms nausea, soothes sore muscles, eases arthritis, curbs cancer growth. I mean, I don't know how much. It's it's. It's always those claims where I'm just like, mm, I mean... Tech, I believe that there is actual scientific backing for most of that, but it is remarkably minor. Like, it's... it's Yeah. It may slow cancer growth, but they can growth, claim it. You can't actually... Like, you will never be given ginger uh, if you're diagnosed with, like, stage 2 pancreatic cancer. No, they'll use real drugs. Um, I have no idea what you guys are talking about, but would anyone be interested in solar? <laughs> The mu uh, uh, the mystical properties of ginger. Ah, I love ginger. Ginger's very nice. Pickled ginger, amazing. Yes. Pickled Candy a ginger, lot of things. Amazing. 
pickle a lot of things. Pickled carrots. Very good. I don't know why pickled pickling radish. got such Very like good. a like a bad rep in like the nineties. Um, but it is really, really like it's a it's a very cool process. People suck at home pickling and they got poisoned. No, I don't know why. So okay. you guys are all on the rooftop. Um, a uh, uh, an Aladrin has just appeared in a magical kind of poofery. She made some fiery explosions, or they made some fire explosions. Um, and now there is only one. Uh, assassin remaining who has thrown his crossbow to the ground and just went, okay okay i'll give up whatever you guys want it's it's perfectly fine except it's more like okay okay i'll give up because he's already been hit quite a few times what would you all like to do mm. uh, i hear him uh, say this right everyone whoa, 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 him say that he made sure yeah. everyone was aware he is no longer a danger. Okay, I uh, go out to him. I uh, slap the. Uh, I uh, use the iron bands to uh, uh, bind his hands behind his back. So the way that the iron bands work is they actually like expand and like like tie him up completely. They wouldn't oh, really okay. work as just wrist. You would you would literally just like. They go poop and they like spider web them. I think uh, if it's okay, Smegwick might get in the way of that. Oh. If that's all right. Because mm -hmm. Smeg well, will be like, if that's okay. If, well, if let's, not, we can. Let's let's do it this way. Um, okay. Aoi, as as you go forward and you you take out the the iron bands of binding, you start to say the word. You notice uh, Smegwick starts uh, moving forward and he very he very carefully kind of just puts mm -hmm. his hand up, um, kind of. Uh, in between you and and uh, uh, the uh, b -b person there. We might be on a bit of a timetable, kid. If we, uh, might be a bit of a problem if we have to force this guy to have to carry him. Uh, uh, does anyone have to... Uh, is anyone able to search inside? Maybe we need to search this place. Make sure there was supposed to be another guy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Reggie, you know that place pretty well. Do you think you can help... Crusty yeah, stole on the roof, right? Yeah, I'm Crusty. Yeah, <laughs> you're just. Yeah, I get. I already gave that place a bit of a once over. I think I remember everything was. So yeah, I'll go inside too. Well, remember that one place you said was movie trapped? Yes, the drawers. But yeah, also make sure, make sure see if the guy if there anyone was there and maybe they ran or if there anyone was there. Not a problem. Not a problem. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll head inside. I'll uh, stay back to uh, say a lot. Watch out for the caltrops. Uh I'll uh, stay back to uh, thank our uh, uh, interesting uh, new helper. Okay. So, Rai, you see this small uh, blue uh, blue skin dragonborn uh, c -c 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 come up to you that just moments before was kind of this ferocious, <laughs> slashing, magic-using uh, a person. Now she looks very, very much adorable. Aww. <laughs> yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> what, what would you what, what would you like to say, uh, uh, uh It's for the help. Uh, what's your name? I'm Mariah. <laughs> My name's Allie. Uh, I. Uh, did you just get here, or uh, were you uh, some kind of uh, backup from uh, our clients? might be here to help ah, depending okay what are we doing with him you got any proof to back up that claim mm. no do i need proof uh in this here? situation of in this situation places? kinda i don't like the mm. frig you're here do you have anything they would have given you like and this is like well i not because like the guy from anonymity gave us something uh yeah there you actually have a little coin uh, or a, a, a little pin, actually. You have a little. I remember it being pin. a wooden coin that had yeah. A on it. Was, mm -hmm. was, was I, am I wrong on that? It's very mm -hmm. possible what I said. So, yes, we'll say it's a, a wooden coin. So, yes. Um, Arai, you were not given any. Yeah, what? I was about to say, I don't remember. You were, okay. you were given In nothing. Our story, I was given nothing. Oh, no. 
Uh oh. Hmm. That's interesting. Weird. Yeah. I suppose. Okay. So, loose ends. Smegwick turns like, don't friggin' know you, one problem at a time. Spins around, Smegwick pulls a knife on the guy. Oi. Puts it up. Not not, not the thing, you know, like, sometimes people, people do that thing, they throw it, like, the anachronistic th up to the throat kind of thing. It was like, if a dagger slips, that actually is a bit of a problem. He puts it on the clavicle. Okay. Aye, 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 aye. You see him kind of wincing a little bit, because he obviously has something wrong with his ribs. Maybe a crack, maybe a break, but he's not pleased to be extending his rib cage at this moment. It's like, oh, oh, all right, all right. It's, it's... There was another guy. Where's the other one? The other tough, the other Goliath. He's supposed to be here, not I, that other guy. Where is he? I, I don't know what you're talking about. There's, there's nobody else. It's it's all us. It's, it's there all... was another Goliath. What happened to him? Why isn't he here? I, I don't, I... don't know what you're talking about. There's I'm going to no yell. Other... I'm going to yell from across while he's doing that. You got to kill him, you know? I... <laughs> No, actually, you don't! I'm, She's I'm... got a point. You go over there. You and I both know about another Goliath that was here before. Why isn't he here now? Listen. I'm gonna turn to Aoi. I like him. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've never known any other Goliath. There was only one of them. It was Buds with... with uh... oh. There was another one here the other night. There was two of them, and now there's one. Smegwick smacks him with the, with the hilt. Not the blade. He smacks him with the hilt. Okay. Uh, roll a d4 for me. No receipt. D4. Yeah, ironically, okay, good thing I have a die that says four on it because it landed straight up. I cannot tell for the life of me what the number is. <laughs> so you got a four? four on ours. As you yeah, uh, hit him, you feel this crunching this is a sensation uh, uh. even through your yeah. gloves and as he goes you see kind of blood go out oh sorry i want to be clear it's the yeah you still feel a crunching yeah. okay. it's just a sensation and the blood goes and you're and you see uh, uh pieces of teeth fall out of his m m mouth seriously I, I, I do you think i'm messing around do you think there you got no idea how much trouble you're in friend you got no idea who you're messing with you see him clearly you remember us you see tears start to well up in his eyes. You see his lips start quivering. He's like, I'm just so serious, man. I've never seen another good, good, good life. I'm, I'm really having it. It's, 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 it's just one good life. And then there was a the I... fat bloke and you throw him off of a phone. Anti-check, anti-check. Go for it, Yep. Yeah. Um. Uh. I know, well, while she's doing that, uh, or I'll just wait because I'm pretty sure she can go. 18. 18. He is scared shitless. <laughs> and the truth. there is a I... growing uh, puddle uh, uh, growing uh, around his feet. Uh... Now, I, I, I know mechanically what it's mm -hmm. supposed to do. If I were to use Fey Presence, could I simply... I'm trying to scare the shit out of him. I want answers. I mean, he's he's about there. Uh, remind I me very understand. quickly, uh, Fey Presence, you can... Uh, uh, in uh, uh, he becomes frightened of you, effectively. Right? What, mechanically, they're supposed to run away, and they're they're scared for a turn. That's that's uh, that's fine. He can't run. Yeah. So if if you want to use your fate presence to just uh, effectively um, make him frightened of you without the the running aspect, totally fine with that. Okay. Um, go I, ahead and I describe exactly what 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 physically do you see happening when you when you invoke this this uh, well, ability? And I make it a point while I'm doing this. My back is like that's why I made on sure on the uh, on the uh, map. Um, Smegwick, his he's facing the guy back. His back is to them. Mm -hmm. So what this guy just sees in the Fey presence in regards to the fear, just goes pale. Smegwick's eyes get sunken in black voids. Two tiny pinpricks of elvish blue light tendrils of black kind of like creeping up like veins uh the danny devito mouth is like the spit the black spittle's just starting to creep past the lips I'm like don't lie to me you have so little value left 
everyone is supposed to be gone for this job. You need to start telling us what we need to know. Because you don't have much value left right now. God, why am I inside? I would. Wait a second. Um, uh, go ahead and awkward. roll me an intimidation with uh, uh, advantage. God, yeah, he deserves all the advantages. Yeah, which right? yeah. I'd yeah. give you double advantage if exists if it existed. I have, I have a reason for doing what I'm doing. It's it's Smack good, man. Guy. I mean, oh, oh god, of course I'm rolling well right now. Okay, twenty four. Twenty four. Twenty four is still good. And with the wish, this is you know what I whispered to you. Yeah, um, definitely. Okay. So this is so. And um, also, just for also, Spitwit, the pseudo dragon is going into his mind and going basically it's revolving images of you're in for it now oh you're gonna get it what he's gonna do to you with that dagger you're in for it now and just lather rinse repeat there's there's still the chibi animatic paper mario <laughs> animation but, still, but that's really more disturbing considering bonk, what the hell's bonk, going on with like bonk, bonk. with smegwick right now in the, in the split mm -hmm. second of like his frightening so um as your visage starts to kind of melt into this terror visage, you see his eyes go really, really w -w -w wide. Uh, he starts weeping uncontrollably. The puddle uh, b -b -b beneath him gets bigger. You start smelling a very off uh, scent f -f 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 from him, and he just collapses into to, to, um, uh, a blubbering mess. Like he 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 seems like a completely broken I'm a man but he just keeps repeating over and over again it's only ever been one 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 he, he spins around and he turns to the rest of the group by this point the the presence is no longer there I'm still rolling like a wisdom save because that was freaking scary you just saw a side of smack which well, you, you didn't know existed well you would have to be point blank for the free presence but if like I understand what you're saying yeah. So he's now. I have a two. <laughs> I think if he sees that, that's actually going to hurt Smegwick a little bit. Yeah, I. I mean, let's. I. I, I think that's a justifiable uh, response. So I, I think you know, Owie showing genuine fear and, and and kind of shock that you have turned into something very very different than than what she's, she's used to, and I think. You know, Smegwick, you're you're allowed to, to, to kind of react to your party seeing you in a very, very different little light. Smegwick puts the dagger, makes a point of, like, putting the dagger in the back of his belt. He's also, he's taken out, he's changed from his, in case they have to, in case we have to, in case they have to, he hasn't even say it, but, like, in case they have to run, he's changed his appearance, so now he has, like, kind of the, the, uh, poor person street beggar type of look he has in one of his appearance like he, first time ever you've also seen that you guys have seen him not duck around a corner somewhere and change his appearance his, his clothes actually go <laughs> and he makes a point of like putting the dagger in the back of his uh belt he tucks it away spitwit is still doing this the dagger that he just took away you're so in trouble right now is the same intent okay he, um, at this point, uh, he, he is, you have quite literally broken him. He is just this blubbering pile, um, on, uh, this river rooftop. He's not going anywhere. He is, he is completely paralyzed from, from, from fear and, uh, uh, just despair. So. Okay. So we still have a problem here. And Smeg was just gonna like pinch his nose. He's gonna, like, we can all get the this point is about going the Goliath on, not being there. While this is going on, we're gonna pause this for just a second. Uh, okay. Reggie, um, as you go in, um, is there anything specific that you're looking for other than a person? Um, I I want to give the room one one more once over, but this time to see if anything has been changed or tampered with since okay. the last time I was in here because ne like I was in here I did my investigations then we did our stakeout now people have been in this room mm -hmm. and they've done stuff in here I want to see if I can find any clues as to what they did in here mm -hmm. aside from just like sit around 
Um, so l l looking around, uh, you can see uh, in kind of the lounge area, um, you can see there is uh, some paperwork that wasn't there pre previously. Um, mm -hmm. There is also a uh, bag um, that uh, you, you can go over and check, but you're relatively certain there's money in there. Um, I'm considering my experience with that drawer. I'm going to, I'm going to take like one of my arrows and I'm just kind of like, I want to poke the bag enough that it like, it's, is it like on top of a table, like a small coffee table between chairs or something like, where is the bag? Like on any furniture? Uh, so, um, the, the way that the thing is kind of set out is, um, uh, you have, uh, uh, up here you have, uh, the, um, the, the kind of kitchenette, uh, there's, uh, like a pantry up here. There's like a, uh, uh, a table with chairs around it where you would assume people would eat. And then over here, there's kind of a sunken living room kind of thing with some couches and other th the things like that. And there's a little right. kind of coffee table th th there. And that's where the additional paperwork is. And that's also where the, the bag of m m money is. You would assume uh coins from how it's sitting there. Okay, uh, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to take one of my arrows and I'm going to gently check it for any kind of booby traps. And what I'm going to try and do is basically take the tip of my arrow and like shove it off of the table, have it just drop to the floor if any wires or anything gets So by banked. it, you mean the, the money? The, ba the bag of money. Okay, so yeah, as you do it, it, it hits the ground and uh, the bag opens up and, and you see um, a bunch of silver and gold coins just kind of trail out. Oh. They just said to, they just said to kill people. They never said about taking a small cut for our sales. So um, yeah, Reggie <laughs> will gingerly um, put the coins back in the bag, tie it shut, um, attach it to his belt, just to have it there. And, and, and in case they want us to like turn it in, it's like readily accessible. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna have Reggie not pick up the papers, but like spread them a bit so he can see them all separately. He, I want to see what's on those papers. Uh, sure. Uh, the first one, uh, is a drawing. Um, it is, uh, a drawing of, uh, a, uh, 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 I have to think now. Uh, it's a drawing of a, uh, a feminine, uh, figure. Um, it's mostly, uh, of her face. Like it's, it's like here f -f 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 forward. Um, the, uh, uh, just from kind of like the way that she's drawn, she has a very kind of regal, almost noble uh, la, 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 la look to her. You can see it, it goes down uh, about to like her, her, her shoulders and that. And you can see she, she seems to be wearing what looks like a dress of some sort. It's all done in, in, in Chichi charcoal. Um, uh, so that's mm. one. Uh, another one is uh, a really, really poorly drawn map. Um, like painfully, like box over here labeled this is where she is and then like a circle over <laughs> here going shoot from here like really really bad to the point where even knowing where they were what you, you cannot tell what they were aiming at from this map um uh there's the total of four uh the third piece of p -p 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 paper um is uh a uh, uh a schedule um and you know it, it's got you know meeting w w with various nobles and other things like that. It's it's obviously some noble person's is a schedule, um, and uh, the, the then the fourth one is probably the dumbest looking contract you have ever seen. Oh no! <laughs> like if you if you think about like a demon contract where it's really really like eloquently written and there's all these little things to kind of trip you up. This is almost like written in crayon. Like we promise <laughs> to kill the bitch, you promise to pay us. And then there's a big old long line with an X on the uh, this is side of it, uh, <laughs> and you could see um, there's a, a signature on there. The signature uh, is is obviously a noble signature. Nobles practice their signatures. They they're very very nice and flowing. The calligraphy is perfect. It was do signed. I recognize do I recognize the name? Um, yes, because I think you recognized the uh, the noble that you guys are dealing with, right? I, I I recognized like the the basic traits 
that identified the family, but yeah. I never got. So you, you recognize the, like the family name. name? The 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 first name. Um, the the first name is so flowerly signed. It it could be any name. Oh, Which is, again, it's not an uncommon thing for some nobles to make this flowing signature that looks really pretty and no one can tell what it is. Uh, mm -hmm. He's a doctor. <laughs> he's a doctor. No, he said it looks pretty. <laughs> yeah, no, if he was yeah. a doctor, it'd be chicken scratch. <laughs> um, I was okay. about to say, because my reaction was, <laughs> he signed it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, well... it's, it's, it's paint. Like, again, Reggie, you... Um, You've dealt with contracts before from your, your previous life. You know what contracts a little look like. Um, I don't know how much experience on the business side you would have, but the bare minimum, you signed your own contracts um, when you were uh, doing your thing. And, and you dealing with nobles and that, like contracts are a really great way to steal from people um, and to just like to do a lot of really, really bad things to people. So contracts we are love really to, useful. We too. love to screw them. They love to screw us. The bureaucracy is its own little fun oh, yeah. game. Um, so this, um, this looks like someone, what someone that had never seen a contract would think a contract would look like. Okay. So this tells me that this was this noble guy's very first hit job that he's ever asked for. Mm -hmm. Um, quality aside, I am going to take all four pieces of paper, fold them up nicely and put them in my pocket. Okay. I still got the bag of money to my hip. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm now now knowing that it is booby trapped. I'm gonna reinvestigate that drawer okay. to see if it is still booby trapped. And if it is, I'm gonna leave it alone. But if it isn't, I'm gonna see if there was any clue as to what was inside it. Okay. So um, going back to the drawer, we cut uh, and we go back to outside. So, so um, while that was going on, you've done your your thing. You've seen Owie get kind of scared of you. Arai has made her point. Venus is gone. You're supposed to kill him. Um, or uh, I'm sorry, Krexny. Uh Too many names. It was just bleeding. That's oh. not very good. Don't no, be dying. Got you into character. <laughs> so, um, so what? Uh, um, Aoi, Arai, Krexny, and Smegwick. What do you guys want to do? Right now, Reggie is still seems to be um, in the uh, in the house. Megwick is now appearing to ignore the guy. Like, hey, uh, we need to, um, uh, the, the bows. We need the bows. Uh, Krexny. Krexny needs, needs the bows. Oh, yeah. Hey, around those, those up. Uh, Krexny, you are muted, by the way. Sorry, Should... my dog, sir. Oh. I said I'm gonna come back a, across. I'm gonna yeah. actually cross now and come to where you guys are at. Okay. By the way, Evan, I saw your cat. <laughs> well. So Krexny ah. jumps on the uh, the uh, zip line, comes down, lands gracefully in her bunny form. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go around and gather up the the crossbows and the, any grapples that are still left. Uh, yeah, not t -t 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 too difficult to uh, pick up that uh, stuff. Um, Except for one that's grappled to the chair. I'm just gonna like throw the, <laughs> the rope over, just pull the chair around, and say, "Well, got some new furniture for my boat, <laughs> for my room." Your your new chair with a hole in the center. <laughs> yep, just the way I like it. <laughs> nice and airy. <laughs> Get that ventilation. Yeah, you, you don't want to be sticking to the chair. You put a little hole. It's it's just like if you, you know, like if you're trying to like pour a uh, a can of like uh, uh, tomato sauce, and you like put the hole in the bottom so it drains. It's the same basic yeah. principle with chairs. Yep. Hmm? Yeah, exactly. Yep, exactly. exactly. I'm just going to put it over my shoulder and Julia start Child's dragging it around everywhere I go for a while. <laughs> no one gets that reference anymore. Because it's, uh, who's, who's, uh, uh, Gordon Ramsay, eat your heart. Uh, yeah. I was trying to think of celebrity chefs and all I can think of is Emerald, and I don't think he still cooks. No, he just makes pans, right? Yeah, I believe Something. so. I think he's been making pans. He's for... a blacksmith now. <laughs> Switch jobs. So, uh, what do you guys want to uh, do, do? Your your dude is is still a, in a puddle of himself. Yep. I'm gonna have Arai just kind of. <sighs> well, he's useless now, and go and take out his hand axe and go to uh, kill. Him. We still might need him for ants. <laughs> we still might need him for answers. We don't know who you are. Mm, but that's not my job. So I'm going to take a swing at him. Okay. I'm standing in front of him, so are you swinging at me? No. 
So, Arai, as you as you move <laughs> forward, um, just kind of being the confident person you are, you just kind of keep walking, and Smegwick doesn't move, and so eventually you're like this and this, and you just stop. Because by this point, most people move out of your way, hmm. and so this is a this is a new experience for you. Move. Don't know ya. Back oh, off. We need answers. I think he scared yeah. the living daylights out of him. I don't think he knows anything. Well, I maybe saw we need to find it out first. What are you want to try to do? Be the next Not... step. Hang him over the rail. Not the job. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna move him. I'm gonna move Snagwig. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be a grapple check. Uh, so strength athletics from you versus uh, you could do strength athletics or um, dex acrobatics, Smegwick. Question: Can Spitwit help me by getting in her face? Spitwick <laughs> is no busy. Cheating. Fair uh, fight. Spitwick is busy giving this guy. Hi, bad nice to meet you. No. <laughs> Uh, sp as you mentioned before, Spitwick keeps giving this yeah. guy images, so he's over by the dude, um, and he would not have enough time in okay. the very quick interaction to be able to come over and do anything. He's 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 busy giving this guy the evil eye. Not rolling that anymore. I got a. F I was supposed to roll. Yes, strength right? athletics. Okay. Perfect. I got a fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, dexterity good. acrobatics. 17. 17. Ooh. So, um, again, you're not 100% used to people not really doing what you want. Again, your experience, because everywhere you've gone, people have known who you are until you left to go on your own. Um, and then you weren't really dealing with people, you were dealing with monsters. Um, and so this is the first time you've actually had to deal with someone like this, and you've never dealt with a goblin before that you haven't tried to kill. Um, so as you sit there and you just very politely take him by the scruff, uh, uh, like you just take a big old handful of his shirt and start to lift him up and move him, he very deftly just, in the calmest way possible, he just kind of puts his hand on your wrist, and as you try to move him, he just twists a little bit, and without thinking, you just let go, because he twists your wrist just enough for you to not be able to get the grip and he slips under it and kind of spins out mm. he's still there see i didn't want to actually I grab him i was just going to like again. put my hand on him and kind of just like touch him to make him move to the side not like actually grab him well you said you said you were grabbing. <laughs> well, you, you said, you said you were right. moving him so yeah. yes. oh that was my interpretation like well, even just uh if, if we can go a different way you try to no, kind of just fine. it's already happened okay. it's already that's happened fine. It's a... that's perfectly All fine right. Now I've extra ticked you off, and that was not the intent. Well, that's right. I think no, you would have, you would have, if you did yeah. away, you would have ticked, <laughs> you would have ticked me off. I think making any contact with him would have upset him. And especially considering we're, we're still, we just came out, happy. we just came out of a situation where these guys riddled Spitwit with bolts. <laughs> yeah, Spitwick, mm. Spitwick still has a pin cushion sticking or out Smegwick. of him. Oh, Smegwick, sorry. That's right. <laughs> That looks like it hurts. I want to like poke okay. it. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Are you familiar with the Hellish Rebuke? I'd, I'd be. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'd be angry if I got shot in the face that many times, too. I, I get yeah. you. Uh, so what do you guys want to do? There's there's now kind of a, a standoff. You know, the unstoppable force have, have met the unmovable rock. Hmm. So you want to keep him alive? I vote to kill him. No. You used to have a problem. Oh, what the heck? You. What? I'm just <laughs> saying, I'm trying to finish this. I don't want to die. What's your I job? Knew... I was told it was to kill everyone. You were not killing everyone. Again, we I don't know. know you. You can make a lot of claims. Hmm. True. What, what if we, uh... Get the uh, get the person who surrendered to our client, and they can decide what to do with them. I vote that wasn't what he said, and I don't want to die. Mm -hmm. That's not what I was asked to do. No, yeah. no. You're weird. Oh, I thought you were going to say I was weird. <laughs> <laughs> You're weird. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> I've been told that before. That's a good thing. <laughs> So, Snagwig, what do you want to get out of him? What What do we need to find that other guy? What other uh, guy? Spring. There was supposed to be another one. There was supposed to be another another Goliath. That was the original target. We don't know who this guy was. Mm. So he can die. There were two. There, there were two. Just to be clarified. There, there was were, four snipers, two muscles, and one annoying guy. But the boss could have been a. There had there were two Goliaths that were supposed to be there, and we actually had seen two of them the, the first time when they were on the roof. The, but this time there was no. When you guys there was no second Goliath. first <laughs> encountered them on the ground floor, there was two. And on the on the, on, on the patio. Uh. On the, the patio, you mm -hmm. guys only saw the boss. one. You saw the boss There's and one, one boss. Goliath at, at, one, yeah. at, at any time, and then four, uh, four snipers. snipers. And then you the annoying person, which as was As far horrible. as here, yeah. you have never yeah. seen a second Goliath yeah. on the patio. Sorry. Oh, sorry. But, That's sorry, why but... I'm confused, because I, like, during the last session, there was only one, so. Mm -hmm. Sorry. But to clarify, we were right, told so no. that there was supposed to be two Goliaths. There were supposed to be two yeah, Goliaths. Yeah, there was supposed was to be. Not. Uh, yeah. The, the specific thing you were told mm -hmm. was that there was two muscle. Yeah. They they muscle. didn't specify race or anything th 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 oh, like that. Oh, okay. Yep. But they did say a grand total of eight people, and thus far you have seen a grand total of eight people. Okay, we're good. I was just told everyone needs to die and to make sure that you kill them, so... Yeah, that you were, you were given very little information. <laughs> I think at this point, Arai started to realize that you may, maybe next time before you accept a job, ask more questions, ask for clarification, because you were given super, like you were given next to nothing to go off of. Just these guys are gonna kill some people. Maybe you need to help them kill them. Yeah. Where am I picking up my gold from? <laughs> you were you were given a spot to go back to to get get your money. So. Yeah, I'm I'm kidding. You know. Like, <laughs> Did I get her name? Yeah. What was? Was it even a guy or what? Wait, <laughs> you're just confused. you're just going back. It's like how much do I know? Yeah. Where did I meet them again? <laughs> Am I, is my name Arai? Is that? Wait. What? <laughs> is this my pike? <laughs> right. Awesome, Arai's just having that. a crisis of faith right now. <laughs> yep. So for the rest of it, you guys can see like Arai and Smegwick okay. are like as eye to eye as they can be with a height difference, um, and they both seem very intent on what they want to do, 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 do right now. I'm gonna go in the middle of them and I'm gonna kind of like squeeze in and kind of give them their space because I was like, "You look pretty, and you look scary. I loved them both. <laughs> so let's breathe." Back up. <laughs> Try to get him to calm down a little bit before something bad happens. Yeah. I really love my that. Chair, my chair kind of dings the guy because <laughs> I'm dragging it over. It just kind of like hits him and knocks him over a little bit. This is my chair. <laughs> if you met my chair. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. <laughs> you look like you need to take a seat. <laughs> Smegwick will continue to interpose. Like, if you want to move him, he'll move him. He's like he's going to keep interposing himself between him and uh, this this uh, Eladrin person. So, how's the weather? I can't know. It's made of a ghostly. It's intended, motherfucker. Okay, sorry. So, to go back to the eight people who you guys were told to kill, since eight people are dead. Are you still no gonna seven go? are dead and one sitting here? Okay, since since there are eight people here and you were told eight people, are you still going to keep questioning him about a ninth? The guy Maybe. wasn't the noble wasn't supposed to be here. I just want to make sure there was the, the other muscle that was supposed to be here 
didn't run off. Reggie? He's still inside. Cut, hey. cut back to the drawer. Come back. Um, <laughs> cut back to the, the drawer. Uh, <laughs> The drawer, the, the trap is still in the drawer, uh, but it's been disarmed. Oh, but it. Okay, it's disarmed, so I pulled the drawer fully out, and now I'm just like looking for explodes. signs of what they had. It's oh. there's nothing in there. Okay. <laughs> Confetti. Explosion However, knowledge. it is large enough to fit four pieces of paper. Oh, shit. Ironically. Uh. You're doing some very quick deduction, you're like, I bet. <laughs> oh. But with this and with that, they could, in here, but then pull out paper four with him. Start seeing and, just see, and then you see like all the equations. Tears! That no one's so stupid! It's like watching Darkwing Duck in D&D. <laughs> Let's um, get dangerous. I was... dangerous son. Let's roll investigation. <laughs> oh, oh God, I can hear him say that in that voice. <laughs> um, Same guy that okay. voice, uh, voices Winnie the Pooh. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay, so if that's pretty much it from just all these deductions, I'm pretty much ready to just leave this and head back out to the balcony. True. And I'm assuming, right? And I'm assuming it's when I realize it's time to go out that I hear Smegma go, Reggie! And he goes like, <laughs> oh, that's my cue. So as you come out, you see the following scene. You can see Owie, who looks perplexed and, and a little bit as afraid of what's going on. Mm -hmm. You can see this Aladrin uh, warrior with a big old pike. And now uh, they also have a hand axe out. <laughs> um, you can see uh, Krexny kind of standing between them with a chair, uh, kind of just <laughs> over her shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes Cruxney with the with the metal chair. You see Smegwick, uh, <laughs> the most serious oh you have God. ever seen Smegwick in your entire life. Like Slightly all of the feral. mirth, all of the all the mirth and and kind of sarcasm that is kind of built into Smegwick is gone. He is a pure being of rage at this particular moment, rage and malice. Uh, and then you can see uh, Spitwick sitting on the rail, and you can see a puddle of a man. In multiple puddles. <laughs> All oh. types of... Um, so he just kind of stands there for a moment in just silence, watching all this. Did you find any evidence of anyone else? I did not find evidence, but I found some clues to implicate, to do some mighty tasty implications. That being said, though... Who's that? <laughs> well, someone, someone who doesn't seem to be much worth it anymore. Oh no, no, I'm, I'm not done. talking about the pile of trash over there. I'm talking about who is the mighty, who is the mighty fine figure standing right there, who looks ready to pick a fight. Oh, it's my pleasure. <laughs> That's a really nice thing to say about Owie, but what about Arat? I mean. <laughs> Ready to pick a fight? Oh, she's too cute for that. Oh, oh you, you were uh, you were trying to say something for a second. <laughs> well, I, well I, I, I'm asking like who Arai is. Yeah, like that's who I'm directing yeah. it to. I'm help, apparently. <laughs> well, we didn't need much of your help. True. It was amusing. <laughs> <laughs> with readjust. Just like every time, every time you say something, you just readjust your chair. Readjust. All right. All Those right. Those bunny well. shoulders just aren't really broad, so. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that'll uh, help me. Just he's not here right now. Until then, right, then we'll uh, we'll put a little bit of a pin in that. Uh, he now he basically he walks out and he walks over to the blubbering mess of a man. Looks over at Smegwick. Looks down at the man. Looks back at Smegwick. You know, you could have just gotten me for me to read his mind, you know? <laughs> yeah, they never... Uh, oh, would you, they li never, they never would you like me to... Me. Do, would you like that me to do that for you? Would that be good for you? Hmm. 
the, the question <laughs> has been <laughs> posed. <laughs> <laughs> I think no, sorry, sorry, jo uh, Joshua. The player is just like not going at all how I intended. Um, but whatever. Welcome it does, to D and D. &D. <laughs> yeah. F A F O. I know. Um, you don't plan in D and D. You do. It just flashback goes to an entire episode of planning. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey, but it worked out. We did a really good job. We had yeah, really good actually. ideas. Yeah. I feel bad uh, <laughs> for Krexny because oh, that's not how it ever that. works in D and D. Like plans never work, and so we've just given you this idea that planning works, and you're going to be really well, upset when you try doing it again and it fails. Fair. Technically, mine did fail. I spent a whole lot of time on those arrows, and I just hit lawn furniture. So. <laughs> I was going to say, it's never going to fail. She, she's just going to constantly get long from now. <laughs> she's she's going to be the anti Wheaton. We're going to have the exactly. best bolt oh, no. ever. Uh, it's not even long furniture shit. anywhere around us. Anything Where did that this I table get. come from? <laughs> when, Re when Reggie says that, I will say this. Uh, Smegwick will mentally tell Spitwit back off. Okay. So Spitwick um, doesn't doesn't really change anything physically, but he's mean you would know he, he, he stopped antagonizing. Uh, so he's, he he's, still looks very similar to what he was. Like, anyone other than you would have no idea that he stopped what he was doing. And he does like that little, the back paw thing. You know, arches his back. You know, cats when they're mad and they get their, their back all up, all the fur sends it, except he has no fur. Two little claws. Just... <laughs> I know, I know. Um, no, he's no, he's to the guy. Oh, oh. Did you um, teach so him yeah. that one? <laughs> Spitwit looks at you. <laughs> Men no, no, mental that. image. No, no, oh, okay. mental image. Spitwit looks at you. The little pseudo dragon <laughs> looks at you. Mental image of a middle finger. Just pulling, just full but, in your in your but visual. Too close. So <laughs> no, no, it's a little outline, just like an emotion. having having grown up in the 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 Feywild, you would kind of be familiar with kind of telepathic communication stuff like that but since being in the sovereignty um no one has communicated in that way whatsoever so it does take you back a little bit to have someone implanting an image in your mind um but it's not something that's completely unfamiliar to you you know that is a way that fairy dragons which are somewhat common in uh the feywild communicate so so I I walk up to this guy and I'm just gonna put a hand right on top of his head and I'm gonna cast detect thoughts okay. and I want to and I want to probe as deep as I possibly can with this guy. Okay. Um, he does have to make a wisdom save. He of fails. 50. Okay, that that was easy. <laughs> broken. His his um, mind is a hundred percent broken. Okay, I'm going to I want to search all of his memories, especially those concerning. The, like the concept, the co coming up with the concept of this hit. Okay. I want to figure out like everyone he's ever interacted with um, that has been involved in this event. And I also want to try and figure out with like the past couple days leading up to this moment, mm -hmm. if there's been any discussion about if anyone was going to go anywhere. B basically, I want to learn all I can okay. about the planning and the people involved of this event. So as you kind of focus, you, you've used this ability before, you know how it works. Oh, yeah. As you get surface thoughts, because the first thing that you get is surface thoughts, you, um, you actually flinch at first because it's like he's screaming at you mm. right in your ear of, I never saw another person, I never saw another person, just over and over and over and over again. And it takes you a second to kind of acclimatize yourself to this cacophonous um, thought process that keeps coming at you. And you push your way underneath it and uh, quite literally, this man's mind has been completely broken trying to delve into everything. You get pieces of memory here and he, uh, there that will blend into false memories, um, oh. things that don't make sense. Like, his mind is gone. Until he is not in this state, there is nothing you can learn because he does not 
have a memory in this place. He is completely Dang. and utterly broken. I I pull out the probe and I just slowly look at Smegwick <laughs> like the <laughs> fuck <laughs> Yeah, I know what I said. There's no there's no other way to say that sentence. Sorry, Smegwick's <laughs> face just went <laughs> I know, it's like I'm trying to like do this and then you say promise like, God damn it. <laughs> Um, yeah, he just, Reggie just looks at Smegwick with just a face, he doesn't say anything, but the f- expression is blatantly, the fuck did you do to this guy? You know what I know. Now, I will say for, for everyone, uh, just to be clear, um, this is not a permanent, like he's not brain dead or anything. Mm. He is just in a state scared uh, uh, of such just mental anguish that he has lost all ability to think properly. Uh. And because of that, detect thoughts. It's not that he would never get better if he survives this day. He is just mm. at this point, he's beyond any sort of mental thought. Smegwick may have done he's having a meltdown. job. And not to get too technical, but he may be suffering from what has been known in other circles, uh, the brain scramblies. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's a technical term. We don't, we, don't, we don't want to throw too many like highfalutin science words at people. So what would you all like they to had do? A, they had an episode discussing with that exact term and what we do in the shadows. That's where I was referencing. <laughs> I, I, that's my favorite episode. The superb owl party. <laughs> what's, even, what's even better is there are other variations beyond the brain scramblies that he goes into. So, uh, what do you guys want to do? Arai, Arai still seems very intent on her previous uh, uh, goal. All right, well, clearly we still need to get information out of this man here. Um, we do remember the contract that we signed. How much that more being, hours do we have? Yeah, how much more hours do we have? Uh, were, were we just asking the ether, or were we actually asking a ride that I couldn't tell? Um, <laughs> You're on a anyway. time limit. Technically, you the, just the time them. limit. Uh, the time limit was <laughs> this is when the assassination was going mm-hmm. to happen. Okay. Mm. And you were supposed. the The original plan was you were supposed to go from here back to uh, the hotel room uh, that you originally met him at, that belongs mm-hmm. to the uh, the merchant. That's where you were told to return. But did they okay. say specific a specific time that we had to return by? After you're done with this, go from here back there. To there. Okay. Well, we're clearly not He's done. Leaving. So we could use Spitty. we could. Uh, nope. S- uh, Spitty, go uh, with a guy. The, the noble flew off. Just go down, fly down as fast as you can. See if we've attracted any attention, and see if there was a body that landed. Shoo. Goes flying down. Uh, That's right, because there's a ground. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. As you uh, traditionally, yes. It, it, yeah, it, it, what about ground? I wasn't certain if it was just like an overlooking, and you know. No, there was. There's a little square down there. Hmm. Way um, down there. Okay. Smegwick comes gotcha. back, and you just get Spitwick. Uh, uh, Spitwick, uh, Spitwick comes back, and you just get images of crowds, guards. Uh, really? You can see, um, like, he just keeps giving you these z- z- images of people being shocked. Uh, he gives you an image of one of the bodies which has burst when it hit the ground. Like, it is oh, not a... What at that height? Was there no... Was, a, there, was there clothes? The, uh, the, he, like, oh, the, the clothes uh, for like... every person that threw off, there is a corresponding puddle of what uh, used to be a person. Yellow. Why so are we? Clothes. You're jello. about 200 feet in the air, so... Yeah. You guys are about 200 feet up, so that's that's far enough for terminal velocity. Yeah, that's why I was going to point out we were at terminal velocity. Yep. Yeah. There's a really horrific scene. I won't go into too detail. No, but thank you. From, You're good. No, yeah. This is it. Yep. We're Fun good. fact, so, people have survived falls from terminal oh, velocity. Yeah. People have bounced from, para- from parachuting, and their parachute fails. It, the and weird stuff. Another fun fact. And survived. Um, uh, ants, uh, 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 ants are so small, they do not have enough mass, uh, to create enough force to actually damage them from a fall from any height. So, 
ants so them cannot die first. from fall damage. Put them on a penny and throw it. <laughs> so annoying. They hold on. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> I love how we're just talking so about this guy. <laughs> ants and pennies. <laughs> so, uh, so, what do you guys want to do? And uh, him? yeah, uh, can you heal him? Can you obviously from from what uh, Spitwick uh, told you? People are going to be investigating where the bodies came from mm. relatively soon. Like you guys just dropped a bunch of bodies into a busy city. Oops. Uh, can your potion help his brain at all? Any of the potions that we have? No, nope. wouldn't okay. do something like that. We need this to would get be something here. like a greater greater restoration would be required, really, to to, to be able to a, deal with com- this. Or a calm emotion, conceivably. This is beyond a calm emotion. Mm. This is this is a greater restoration style. Megwig. Repair. No, the perfect way to calm him down. <laughs> Ching. <laughs> your call, sir. I would say again with your background, uh, Smegwick. Um, and what Spigwick knows, he would say you guys you guys probably have like five to ten minutes before someone is going to show up um, <sighs> at the door. Whether or not they can get in, that's something completely different, but you guys don't have a ton of time for them to be able to figure out where these guys came from. Get out of here. Okay, I say, I say we get back to the hotel room and we're taking them with us. Mm, we have Thomas already. <laughs> <laughs> no more shipmates. <laughs> no, 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 not onto the boat, into the hotel. Okay. Room. That's all. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Now, a- af- after our hotel room meeting, I don't care what we do with this man. Hi. Meg will suddenly look at Owie and we'll go, let's buy us as much time as we can. We're trying to get this, if we're trying to get this guy. Owie, come on, let's move. Let's put uh, chairs in front of the door before we leave. Buy some time if we can. Because we they gotta try and get across the thing. So Smegwick is going to leave and uh, try to put some door... Like, basically, he's just trying to, like, you know, okay. do the door in front of the yep. chair in front of the door. Completely. So Smegwick finally gets out of in between Arai and that, and Owie, you... Are you going with him? Are you you staying? Yeah, I am. Okay. I do a few deep breaths. So both of you guys go and you start moving furniture. And the furniture inside, much nicer. Dang it. Also, <laughs> much heavier. Um, <laughs> so, uh, uh, Smegwick, you don't have a, an amazing strength score. No. Owie does. <laughs> so between the two of you, you guys have no problem like getting the couch and moving it up there. You 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 put the, the little coffee table, you stack it on there to make it a little bit more precarious and... In the meantime, Smetwick, uh, or uh, Smetwick, my word, Spitwick goes and and picks up like uh, uh, a coaster <laughs> and puts it on there. Cute. And a coffee cup and puts it on there. He's just he's going like he's bringing silverware and <laughs> anything he can carry. <laughs> so, um, with that stuff right. happening, what do the rest of you want to do? So I'm just going to look at Craigsley and kind of raise my eyebrows. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this has now become the Craigsley. <laughs> Anytime you want to talk, just go like this first. <laughs> You've just become Michael Sarah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I'm gonna find a way to take this guy because I can, I can tie him up with strings since your goal is to take him back and throw it up to. Ogon, and then he'll take both of us over. No, he can only take one at a time, right? He can only pull one over? Uh, one at a time, yeah, but I mean, you guys have, with the amount of yep. time you have left, you should have mm. no problem getting all of them. Yep. She so watches as Crexley starts over. to kind of move away, and she starts looking for some, some rope and th- th- things like that. So Rai has his hand at axe out, and he's going to kill him. Ah! <laughs> so... Uh- a little uh, a slight no. thing, and this is this is not. I'm not trying to interfere with this at all. Uh. Smegwick is going to try because full disclosure, above out of character. I know we're gonna bring this back. Uh, this Smegwick is gonna try and distract Owie, okay. so that maybe she doesn't realize this is gonna happen. Okay. Oh, Aww. that's so sweet. <laughs> um, I'll leave it up. up. 
again, it's your character. Uh, uh, oh, uh, go for it. Owie. I love so, what you do. Well, no, no, no. Oh. I'm, what I'm saying is, is uh, I, I would say, Aoi, from your kind of upbringing, you're used to people kind of doing things for you, trying to protect you from certain things. So I would say you would recognize that someone is attempting to manipulate you. you. So I will let you decide what you would like to do. You would you would recognize that pretty quickly before the, the, the killing happens. So I would say Mr. Bigwick is up. genuinely, he is trying to like yep. genuinely put half this is, and stuff. For context, I understand what you're mm -hmm. saying. This is this is a hundred percent owie backstory kind of stuff. Like this is this is how she would have been br br brought up and I would assume I don't want to put words into your character's mouth or anything like that, but I would assume it'd be one of the reasons you you started mm -hmm. to become a an Alter Knight, and I was to to be a little bit yeah. more independent, to take care of yourself. Mm. Yeah, true, but uh, after uh, what just happened, she's kind of uh, uh, resigned herself a little to his uh, fate, so. Uh, Maybe she's going to hate herself for it later, but... Go pick up that dresser. You won't see anything. So I'll give you this choice. And there, there, is, there is no wrong way to do this. Um, you can kind of choose to... Just be oblivious to 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 what happens. Just go. You know what? I'm going to focus on this. I know that Smegwick is is it's trying to kind of manipulate me. I'm just going to go with it. Or you can choose kind of the other wing of, I know what's happening, and I'm just going to choose to ignore it. So I'll, you're you're more than welcome to go either way, whichever way you think Owie would go. I know what's happening. I'm going to choose to ignore it. Okay. So you you kind of make that decision. And you continue going things off. Um, I will say, Crexney, you would be close enough that if you wanted to try and interfere and make this more difficult for Arai, you could. Um, I will leave that to up to you. Do, do you want do you want to attempt to interfere or do you want to just let it happen? You know, we need a hundred thousand. This is tough. <laughs> like, this is a tough question. I don't know this person, and he has a plan. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you. No, 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 he has a point. No, no, I'm going to be too with my chair. And no, you're him you're and... dealing with your chair. Like, this is a good chair. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's patio furniture, die. but it's nice you patio agree, furniture. It's going to fit die. in my room so well. <laughs> you know when so, you're doing that thing where you're trying to pretend to be hyper-focused on something really unimportant? <laughs> this chair? <laughs> like, hmm, this is really interesting over here. Hey oh, look! Bunt cake! <laughs> Come on, I like, like pat her on the head. <laughs> so, so, Arai, uh, you go over, and with your hand axe, very, very, very easily. Again, this person can put up no resistance. And so you just very easy, shink, and you see him kind of look up at you, and you see tears, and then his pupils dilate and he relaxes. Did any blood get on my chair? <laughs> no, you're far enough away. Uh, <laughs> I would say you probably wouldn't have gotten very close to him anyway because other, <laughs> other things that had come out of him might have gotten on your chair too. So I would assume you would have been far enough back that the blood never would have gotten anywhere near okay. you. You were avoiding the piss. And it's all that. Okay, we're good. Most we're important good. part of the chair. <laughs> So, uh, Smegwick and Aoi, when you guys come back out, uh, the tone is significantly different. Uh, Arai has cleaned like your hand imagine, axe. Like, I like to imagine that simultaneously we all heard the axe thunk. Well, this this wasn't even like a chung. This was, you just, the, it was a sharp axe and just, and he just bled out. So it wasn't, it wasn't violent or anything like that. It was very... Almost like, you know, putting, you know, slaughtering a, 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 an animal, just... Well, if I, if I would ask, did anyone actually, like, toss the body over with the other, like, off the ledge, or did they just leave it there? As of right now, it is it is a it is in a pile. Okay. Um, so as you guys all come out, you can see Arai has, has cleaned her axe, and she's she's put it back. Or, um, 
they've uh, they put it back, and uh, you guys can see that the person you were going to be taking with you is no longer alive. Mm. Oh. Well, I got the crossbows. And a very um, nice chair. Oh, I thank you. So I, let's go. I got papers and You're I breaking got... my heart in chat. No. <laughs> Just broke your heart on Discord. Oh, you're in Discord? Wait. What am I missing? Oh no! <laughs> what happened? Wait, I'm not in it. You guys just made Owie sad. No. See, that's the true lose condition of, of any combat now. It doesn't matter if you guys live or well. You make Owie sad. <laughs> As you guys are all kind of coming to terms with what happened, you hear this. Doom, 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 doom. This door starts kind of moving a little bit. You guys have a lot of stuff piled up front of it. It is time You to have go. a good 10 minutes before they make any leeway. Time to An go. additional go. 10 go. minutes. Go, go, go. And no guns on the other side. Point. Yeah, yeah, he's already on. Yeah, I don't think he Ripping left across Yeah. Taking us so, out. You guys have no problem uh, g -g 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 getting there. Um, Smegrick so you... will wait for everyone like, go, 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 go. Because he can, if if he has to, he can just he'll, he can just missy step like he did the first mm -hmm. time. So you guys have no problem uh, getting across. Um, is there anything you guys want to do? Because you still have this very very nice apartment with complete facilities. We take uh, the money. Smegwick still has bolts sticking out of him in random. I places. would imagine those would have came out when I healed. Otherwise, that's really awkward. oh. Did you heal already? Yeah, well, yeah, because I drank healing potions. Oh. I, I went. I busted through too. Thanks, Elias and Guild of Logsmith. Oh, I then, both never mind. Um, did you guys? Did you guys want to before you go out in the streets again? Did you guys want to like wash your faces or anything, or, or just uh, head on out? Uh, quick Wait, lane. Go. Actually, uh, spit what will now change gears. That he's now a little somber, but he's now completely changed gears between Smegwick, Reggie, and Owie because they were in battle. All right helped <laughs> but that was like towards the end i i imagine like a rise pretty much she smells like popcorn butter for some strange reason that's about it <laughs> oh, has these weird glasses on her head one's red one's so blue. a five foot square space i can i now know prestigitation so i can clean up any yeah. visible <laughs> stuff and smack them because oh that the clothes will, and then his clothes will change again he'll look more like it's he looks more like a sailor now I'm a big, that was awesome. <laughs> so, um, do you guys want to head directly back to your contact? Is there somewhere yes. else you want to go? No, it, we got to go. We're in another, wait, 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 wait. We're in another uh -huh. room. We're across the patio. Just act casual when we leave. We don't need to run. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> yeah, act, I, yeah, I don't know. Fly <laughs> casually. There's that one. Chair. I love. I love the one of the IT crowd where they're all like, quick, act casual, and they're like. <laughs> so, uh, as you guys uh, get down to the b -b bottom <laughs> of the building, um, people are talking about w w w what happened. Uh, every so often, um, you hear whispers of, uh, I bet Anonymity did it. Um, but no one seems to look at you twice. Like everyone is 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 really really interested in their own gossip, and you know, uh, everyone is 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 kind of uh, you'll you'll see people kind of uh, clump into groups, and then the groups will kind of shift a little bit as everyone shares their own theories about what just uh, happened. Um, but you guys are effectively invisible at this point. Like no one's looking at you. No one cares about you. There are multiple exploded bodies on the sister street, and everyone's trying to figure out who did it. Uh, you guys get back uh, to, to the hotel. Um, when you get to the door guard, the one that stopped you before until you showed them uh, the thing, uh, he looks at you, he immediately turns around, opens the door, and looks down. Looks just down at us? or like just No, he down? just looks at the floor. Oh. Doesn't make eye contact. He adjusts his, his hat and just looks straight down as he opens the door for you. Oh. Okay, I guess that's our cue to enter. Okay. As you come in, um, the uh, the person at the front desk nods to someone. You see a bellhop 
uh, go over uh, to, to, to uh, the elevator, push a button, uh, and hold the door open for you. And again, looks straight down. Mm. I'm going to have Arai just go over and walk in because okay. he's meeting his contact and doesn't have to worry about anyone else. Reggie will walk in as well. I mean, this seems to be expected. Mm-hmm. Same. Yep. Okay. Spit wood on the shoulder. So you guys go up to uh, the... Imagine the entire time we were, we, we were like, awkward silent. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not even saying that. Just... So, I'm going to meet my contacts. Where are you guys? <laughs> you? I can see saying that. <laughs> Why are you following me? <laughs> Suddenly, the you know girlfriend that... Ipanema starts playing. <laughs> you know that, that, that awkward moment where you say goodbye, but you both keep walking the, the same, same direction? <laughs> uh, you guys well, go back to the know, room. Uh, you were in uh, b- 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 before, uh, and as you come in, uh, you see uh, the person uh, that you met before and uh, a woman. Uh, she um, has uh, kind of like raven black hair um, and she's wearing uh, kind of f- a form-fitting almost suit looking uh, uh, outfit. Something that you haven't really seen a whole lot uh, outside of like the military. Um uh Arai, you would you would uh you would recognize uh your new friend. Um uh, mm. and the strange gentleman that you spoke to but previously and uh she kinda nods at you and gives a just the tiniest uh, uh hint of a smile as you walk in. You see the other one Well it seems it was a success, was it? Yeah. Apparently. Wonderful. Well, the agreed upon payment. It's right there. All right. Uh, any issues? It was amusing. But no. Wonderful. I must say... Um, this could have gone rather poorly, but it seems uh, you did remarkably well. I am very much impressed. Um, in uh, in your payment, there's uh, there's a little additional gift. Um, Any time you're in our city, just. Um, When you need to get somewhere, just show it, and uh, you should get exactly what you uh, what you need. All right. If thank uh, you, ca- thank you kindly, ma'am. Just so I'm clear, we can openly show this. Yes. Well, um. Or does this need to be through less obvious means when we show this to gain access to any other level? The flashier you are, the less useful it will be. Let's put it that way. I'll say, um... Show it, but don't make a show of showing it. Other people that tend to brag about their affiliation with us don't tend to keep that affiliation very long. Mm. Or keep breathing, for that matter. But We understand. I think, just for narrative sake, I think there's like a fireplace, he takes the wooden the wooden nickel, and he just... It's, uh... It's been great working with you, and, um... You know, if, if you decide to, uh stay in the city for any amount of time we'd be happy to work with you again how's that sound mm. as he goes out well. he uh, uh he goes to um Arai. very impressed um, i've got to say um she's got great Judge, she's a great judge of character, but wow, did she uh, did she undersell you? Uh, as agreed upon, he puts payment in your hand and um, something a little extra, and he uh, gives you a uh, a, a very small velvet b- b- bag. 
going to just put them both away. The room she uh, is a good judge. Won't be uh, won't be used uh, for another couple of days. Uh, we have an agreement with the owner, so feel free to relax, enjoy yourself. Uh, room service is on me. All right. Good job. You should be very proud of yourselves. You I'm made side a, eyeing awry. Like a very good friend. Bye. And he walks out. Okay, bye. And leave as well. Are they both leaving? Uh, remind me what her name is for the life of me. I can't remember it. It's in your. Abia. What is it? Abia. No, no, no. Uh, no, the, the, the name of the place. The oh, girl. Sorry. What was your your um your hook? Just kidding. Here Hold we on. Go. Hmm. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> Ismail. Yeah, you know, Esmail. There we go. Esmail. For the life of me, I could not remember her name. So uh, Esmail um, kind of uh, looks around. You, uh, you seem to have found some new friends. Um, and she kind of nods towards the door. And she walks Shall out. Shall we? Oh. No, she no. obviously wanted you to walk out with her. Yep, good. Okay. So as you kind of uh, go in the hallway, well, um gotta say i'm a little bit upset this is over this has been fun do you have plans what are you doing next i unfortunately i i have work it's it's upsetting and she kind of she comes forward and she kind of grazes your cheek it's very upsetting darling very very upsetting but i unfortunately have very um specific work work that requires me to be alone for a bit but i'll be <sighs> back in two weeks if you're still here can i interrupt we'll you and you just like go. kick the door be like <laughs> hey <laughs> leave them alone <laughs> hey you didn't even do anything <laughs> <laughs> Not true. <laughs> uh, they just turn. They just turn. They turn and go. Didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> they're right outside the door. Like uh, uh, Arai is in the doorway, kind of holding the door. So if you want to kind of kick a come just over, it, just interrupt it. Foot, just a bam. <laughs> hey, Seems you're kicking me or you kicking the door? <laughs> the door. Okay. Kick the, hey. Uh, uh, no. I'll leave you to uh, get to know your new friends. Mm. And she kind of turns away. Uh, she comes back and mm. just very kind of slyly uh, gets very, very close. Almost uncomfortably close. Gives you a wink and then goes away again. <clears throat> just going to watch her walk down the hallway. It's a nice view. I believe it. So, Krexny has has just watched this interaction. <laughs> Well, that wasn't weird. Um, hello. You're beautiful and all, but you didn't even do anything. I'm going to turn to Craig saying, thank you. And You're welcome. welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Just for context, I like imagining because Craig is a heron gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a funny person with ears and all that. <laughs> Just <laughs> saying this. Strokes and ears. No, I'm kidding. Aww. Just rub an ear and the, the foot so starts thumping. <laughs> uh, so you guys want to go back in to the rest of your, your friends? Or, well, correct these friends, your possible murder victims we don't know yet? True. Your yeah. possible enemies. You need help with that chair. Are you going to put uh, it down? <laughs> Look, I don't have a lot of furniture right now. Still trying to make the place, you know, what I think, feng shui. And this will just fit right in, okay? Okay. Come on, chair. <laughs> this is my favorite, favorite oh, wait, character I'm sorry, you ever. actually took the chair with you? Yeah. You really took the chair? Yes. From, one, from one balcony to the other, you took it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good grappling hook. She spent all day making these things. If I, if I had to spend hook. at least three hours or five Five hours on making you think I better take something out of it. Cut back to the patio. They're like, wait, 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 quiet, quiet. Lift. 
<laughs> the scratching crash. noise on the floor. The best part about this is, again, you guys were invisible like, while she's dragging a chair with her. You walk through an entire city with a chair. I would have been strapped to Ogan, but still. I mean, like a chair strapped to a giant metal cat. At that point, that point, it almost looked like she was you were traveling with a, a moving oh, throne. Oh, right. <laughs> Like those water boat things where they just have that one lawn chair on the top. <laughs> yep, that was it. And really, she was sitting in it the whole time. <laughs> it's comfy. <laughs> uh, so, uh, as you guys are all back in the room, what would y'all like to do? Smegwick has taken because uh, it's like this is this is a hotel, right? Yeah, you guys are in a suite. Yeah. Um, so so I'm you sure guys are have... effectively in the living room. There are. Uh, rooms. There's there's a hallway that goes to, to other rooms and like this this is a this is a full suite. Uh, so it's I'd a mini apartment they have, effectively. They have stationery then. Yes. Yes. Smegwick will begin uh, writing a letter. Okay. Love letter. So Smegwick. <laughs> but I'm uh, right here. <laughs> Smegwick does his best Ernie <laughs> Hemingway impression. <laughs> All right. What would the rest of you like to do? To, to, to do? Find food. Um, yeah. The uh, the place does have um, dried fruits uh, uh, and uh, uh, a few like selections of nuts and stuff like that. Mm. Um, but you also uh, no 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 um, you can uh, ring rune service um, and you were told oh that yeah rune I'm service, not rune nuts, service. So. just to ask so I can have the record. Uh, they said it's something extra as well. Did we get? Did we actually get coin for the job? Or, did we just or yeah, you, uh, uh, if I remember correctly, you guys were um, the payment. Was, I thought it was two thousand that you guys mm -hmm. were pr 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 promised. Um, and inside uh, the bag, there are also uh, these are actual pins um, that have uh, uh, oh, uh, okay. an A on them. So they have pins uh, uh, in there. Uh, so yeah, a, a, a grand total of uh, two thousand gold pieces. Okay. Um, Arai, Shit. your hook or your payment was a phone number. Yes, <laughs> a hot date. Everyone's phone number. Uh, you got uh, four hundred gold, uh, oh, and if you check in uh, the <clears throat> uh, velvet bag, uh, there is a very large uh, ruby in there. Uh, worth an additional 500 gold. Ooh, nice. And a phone number. <laughs> and I have all the crossbows right now with me, with us. Did I get all of them, or could um, I only you're, get... Uh, you're able to get all but one, because one of them flew off uh, because of a, um, a thunder wave. So okay. one of them was in So pieces. I have three. But you have three, yes. And did I get all the grapples back? Uh, yes. You took them all off the patio furniture. Except for the one that's still in my chair. Well, you, you can figure out a way to <laughs> surgically remove it from the ch -ch chair. <laughs> or you can just rip it out and have even more ventilation. Oh, hey. So what would the rest of you like to do, do, do? Sit in the chair and just sort of do nothing. Watch. Yeah, exactly. Watch whatever you so, What are you doing later? Are you free? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even need my number. I... Mm. What time is it? Uh, at this point, it's it's around like six ish o'clock. It's it's getting dark outside. You guys do hear um, a knock on the door. Oh. Me and Ogan will get it. Okay, as you go there, you can uh, uh, you can see a member of the hotel staff. Uh, we will inform that you. Uh, would like some room service? I'm here to take your orders. Yes, please. Do you have a menu? Whatever you desire, we shall provide. I will take the salmon and the carrots, please. Wonderful. 
anything else for the room? You guys want anything to eat? Flame and yawn. Flame and yawn, sauteed asparagus. Ball of wine for the party. Mute. You are muted. Oh, you're muted. Reggie? Reggie. Sorry. <laughs> um, so another filet mignon for myself. Side of a baked potato. Extra butter. Hmm? Of course. And for you, young miss? I'll have my... Uh, my... Uh, chicken drawn stick. I... Uh, some baked potato and uh, an apple cider, please. Absolutely. And um, compliments of a friend. You see him just kind of reach out of nowhere and you see this very large bottle of champagne on ice that he just kind of wheels into the river room. I'll be back with everything momentarily. Oh, um, one later for to go. Um... Another steak, another steak, another potato. But that'll that'll be to go. We should get some. And get some what about our friend? You want, are you? I'll hungry? have a salad and some salmon, please, and a bottle for myself. Of course. And he quickly kind of goes down the stairs and the little leaves. Well, I cannot remember <sighs> sizes of champagne. They they have names for the size of champagne. This is a bigger one, not the biggest one. Yeah, the biggest one we would need help with. I've seen those. Uh. I believe that's called a Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> uh, but this is uh, this is the equivalent. I believe the next size up is the equivalent of four bottles of champagne. So that's that's the one uh. that he gave you. Is the it's an extra large champagne. All right, Cherubo. God, there are a lot of sizes. Yeah, <laughs> there those those sure. real big ones are for parties. <laughs> and those real big ones are the ones like when you see them take like sabers and <laughs> like, that's how you, that's how you open those real big ones. Yeah. The things you look from you learn from watching the big fat quiz of everything. Ooh. Sure, poem. So uh, yeah, um, you guys uh, uh, in the the room itself has has all the stemware that you need and all the the plates and everything that you would need to enjoy. Uh, your very, very nice champagne. Um, this is going to be a very fun night. Mm -hmm. We just Sm ordered a lot of alcohol. Smegwick makes a point, like, takes the letter, and he, like, he makes sure it blows properly, does the blotter thing, legal mm -hmm. school stuff, and then he'll, like, he puts it in an envelope, and he's, he'll go to them and is, like, sending it off. Um, just, he will, I don't know if he'll say it, but he actually, he sang the letter off to the couple that had invited us to dinner. Mm -hmm. God. And he is simply going, with deepest regards, we regret to we regret that we were not able to attend due to a uh, 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 personal familial emergency. Uh, while we know that you will be gracious enough to un understand, as well as since you were gracious enough to invite us, we hope that you will understand. And uh, please, uh, and we hold understand that we hold you in the highest regards. And you will not consider this a slight against you. He doesn't sign it. Uh, however, he will uh, just do a flourish of just doing the S. Okay. Uh, when uh, it's a sign something. With room service uh, c comes back, uh, uh, f four people come up with all your dishes and they place them in there. Uh, and the person that you originally took uh, took your order goes, "Would you like me to post that for you, sir?" Uh, yes, the address is where it needs to go. Because well, he, because he, because Spegwick had the card for reference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he, uh, so he, he, so he, um, put that. he uh, takes it and go, I will ensure it gets to where it is intended. Have a lovely evening. If you have need of anything else, uh, he comes into the room and he sh uh, shows uh, uh, on the corner of, uh, you guys have a minibar in the room, on the corner of the m m mini bar. Uh, there is just this kind of plain white stone. A single tap, and I shall return. Mm. And he leaves. All right, I'm eating. I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, it's very, very good, 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 good. Your salmon is uh, 
uh, served on a, a cedar plank. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, I'm sold. You know, beautiful uh, uh, smell, perfectly c- 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 cooked, wonderful <laughs> roasted c- c- carrots. How your 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 chicken is perfectly cooked, seasoned beautifully. Uh, the steaks are um, a beautiful mama medium rare, which is the only way you eat a filet mignon. Sauce is supposed to be an option. This uh, uh, I'm a huge fan of sauce. Don't get me wrong. Mm. Filet Proper mignon seasoning, does not need a sauce. I uh, understand like some seasoning. people might. Filet mignon does so not need a sauce, out, and this is a perfectly cooked death. filet mignon. Use perfectly the, seasoned. You use the drippings and you make a sauce that you then dip your french fries in. <laughs> yeah, you you can you can you use the sauce the for potato. other things, but the filet mignon is, is a perfect cut of meat. Um, so yeah, and um, yes, yeah, so you guys have a, a, a wonderful meal, probably the best meal that you guys, um, even Reggie, with, with your kind of refined palate, this is high grade stuff oh finally food i recognize <laughs> this is this is michelin star level f- f- food and yeah, well hopefully before we go wherever we need to go next we'll also be able to stock up with a lot better stuff too oh absolutely well i just want to say i'm next? very proud of you guys you guys all did a great job thank you <laughs> uh not so much Oh, that actually reminds me. Um, on top of on top of our nice little reward for getting this job, I got us a little bonus. And he like detaches from his belt and sets down the bag of money that he found inside of the apartment, uh-huh. and he sets it right next to the uh-huh. other one. Okay, where the frig did you get that? I, I mean, think, I know where you got it, but I think this right here was the payment for that assassination job that we successfully stopped. And if you'll direct your attention to this, <laughs> and he pulls out the four pieces of paper. This mm. right here seems to be all the details for said hit job. Mm. And he like unfolds them nicely and he spreads them out so everyone sees them. <laughs> and and yes, I think we dealt with, I honestly don't know how these people got on the bad side of yeah. anonymity but I think this might have been the very first time this group of people ever tried to do a hit job. <laughs> well, that's the whole point. It's uh, the previous... Uh, I'm sorry, Jody, I've heard the name. You had the name of the other side of anonymity, the uh, the, the thieves the kill- side. The thieves. Uh, that- yes. Um, misdirection. 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 Yeah, misdirection is the thieves' guild. Anonymity is the assassins' guild. Mm-hmm. Well... Whoever it was, they, I, for some reason, they, for some reason they went with misdirection, and that's obviously crossed a lot of lines. Well, my, my question though is, this guy clearly had money. I mean, not even including this, right? Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, no, the, um, no. The uh, bag uh, had five hundred gold pieces, five hundred platinum pieces. Nice. It's not cheap to kill people, especially when you're very rich and very dumb. Yeah, so that, that so that's in the ba- they definitely could have paid less, and it still no. would have gone the way it did. No, that's the point. <laughs> but they they that's God, that's a lot of coin. That's weird. It, 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 here's why, the thing. Here's the thing. Did, they could have afforded anonymity. They could have afforded them. It, here's the thing you got to know about nobles, Smeggy, my boy. That nobles don't really know how finances work. They just assume you can literally throw money at something and it just works, but they don't know how actual amounts work. I've dealt with them myself. The point remains, they have a fat load of cash they paid, a fat load of cash they they supplied these guys with for custom weaponry, as Krexi can attest to. Why couldn't they afford anonymity? Maybe it's not the fact that they couldn't afford, per se. Maybe it was and an first didn't person want the job? To, or first person to come in front of my face with the offer. Easy. You know, maybe anonymity is one of those organizations that will only take jobs if it truly has profound consequences on society. This job that we stopped was, was just a sibling spat. 
This would have been way beneath anonymity's notice. Mm, the guy did mm. have a big mouth. A very... <laughs> What's the reason for the assassination? And one is... He hated his sister. Oh, yep. That was literally it. On the plus side, uh, he'll actually say this like in world, like while uh, Katie actually stepped away, so like, because he actually would make a point of like on this. The, well, also I can. We didn't. Unfortunately, fortunately, we also didn't make an enemy of the Coriandas because Spitwood did confirm that guy hit the pavement, so he didn't magic away. Well, better to be an enemy of them than yeah. an am an animate an am am You know who I'm yes. talking about. Yeah, he he drinks his wine. Friends like that who needs put the put the wine glass down. I'm telling you, I have enough. The sea anemones, they're the ones we're after. The sea anemones. So, Arai, what do you plan on doing after this? Are you free? I am free, <laughs> as you've likely just heard. I'd offer you dinner, but we're eating dinner. Okay. I guess the next question is going to be what we're going to do next. We can go Where from the Thomas. Are you going to do next? Who is Thomas? <laughs> you seem to be insinuating yourself into our situation, friend. I'm very mm -hmm. curious. Thomas is a pet. Oh, what kind of pet? Eh. Uh, <laughs> We've been through a lot of uncomfortable situations so far. I would like to not add add to this. <laughs> But speaking of which, are we going to want to look for more work here, or are we going to try to risk going someplace else? I mean, we have access to all the floors now that we have not been to. Could lead to work and going somewhere else, too. That's mm -hmm. true. Easier things. I say, I, say no, I say no matter where we go, we at least get off of this floor and away from possible murder charges. Hey. Well, that, that provided we speak less about the situation and um, I know, but it also helps to also be physically yeah. away from the situation. Yeah, we're also going to need to take steps on, and if you're okay, I will add the 500 gold and platinum to the te to the complete tally. Or did you want to like do something else with that stuff, uh, Reggie? Oh, I was thinking. I've been keeping we... track of the coin, so I just want to. Make I sure. thought it was silver. It's, it's gold, gold and platinum. It's, gold and platinum. it's platinum. it is it is 500 gold and 500 platinum. Which is way overcharging for a hit job, apparently. Yeah. Um, we. Well, I must. You want me to keep track of that, or? Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. We'll just keep that as like a uh, company chest. Maybe um, we should so get yeah, hired we'll... by them next time. Well, That's we a killed lot of money. him. <laughs> we killed him. So. We killed him, and our only job was to kill. We were not instructed to turn over any money that many or evidence that we come across. We were only instructed to take lives. Nothing yeah. more, nothing That's less. The one, thing, the one good thing about anonymity is the the contracts they sign you up with very succinct, very simple, very understand, very well understood, but they are also very to the letter. Nice. They also don't they also don't leave a freaking paper trail like those goons. <laughs> yeah, now this, this, I mean, look at this. Look at, look at it. Who drew this? Who drew this? <laughs> this, this offends me. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, in, incidentally, uh, Reggie. Hey, Reg. Yes. Uh, burn that one. <laughs> oh, yes. Is it, is there a fireplace in our, in our room? Of course. Here? Oh, he throws there's it. There's right like up. three of them. <laughs> <laughs> there's, All right. There's, so, there's, there's, there's one every, in the... every suite. Yeah, every suite has their own fireplace, and then there's, two, for some odd reason, there's two in the living room on top of each other. Oh my god, I love this Are place. we making pizza? Ooh. Mm. I recently Ain't looked into idea. how wood fire uh, <laughs> ovens work, and mm. I am uh, very Reggie, much want one. Uh, Reggie, it, so, so, well, hold on, one question for you, Jody. So, the <laughs> last name of this noble family that put a hit on itself basically was coriander right yes okay um reggie is going to throw away three of the burning pages but he's actually going to not throw out 
the sketch of the woman, the target. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, he's just going to kind of look at it for a bit and just go, just throwing this out there. You think maybe we should check up on her or something? Mm. She was Why? the target. Well, she yeah. was the target. And I think we want to distance ourselves away from them, right? Yeah, I Distance agree. away from the crime scene. She's nowhere near it, last we checked. And then we go talking to the target of the person who tried to have her, her assassinated. No, 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 I'm not saying we talk. No, I'm not saying we talk to her or anything. I'd just say, like, get yeah. a quick glance, see if she's doing all right. And if she is, we move on. Okay. If she's not, then maybe the situation... What do you want to do if she's not? I don't know. <laughs> we when have we ever when have we ever had a plan whenever we had situations like this? I say plans, plans, plans. Bueller. 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 How about, how about if we see her, you can check on her, but I don't physically think we should look for her. Okay, you know, you, I'm, you, I'm willing to do You do realize that. that means we have to track down where she is. No, I, I said if we just see her around, if she's if he gets stumbled upon, he can check on is her. It, is it, I'm okay <laughs> with that. It's not gonna go looking for her. Smeg just, just he just he emptied, he's like he considers like is this the real stuff or is this the questionable stuff that we found there? And he's like, I don't care. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Um, speaking of Smegwig, what the heck was that clothes change thing you did? That was so cool. Wait, you uh, did a clothes change without me? And I wasn't there to watch? What happened? Wait! You've seen, you have seen me in different clothes all the time. I've yeah, literally but I thought, like, you changed yeah, but never, your clothes. Yeah, but never during like... work like this. I've done it, like, during work. I'm just, like, I just stuck behind a barrel and I come right back or some other place. I'm just. Yeah, but that's typically if you get, like, Stuff and, on your clothes or something. Smegwick also realized he's like, oh, yeah, I'm still in the... Because he's still... When I say sailor, it's like, you know, the pea coat and the slack, the, the, the actual, like, modern-day sailor look. And he's like, oh, mm -hmm. that reminds me. And, he's, and he just goes... He just looks down that... and, his, and, and his suit <laughs> just changes more into the aristocratic uh, businessman kind of suit. Coolest thing ever. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I got a bargain on him. What can I tell you? Nice. Y'all got stuff too. <laughs> I just changed my clothes. clothes. <laughs> like magic. Go. Change. No. Change. Nope. Still not changing. <laughs> Minor illusion. You're all sequin. <laughs> you get this sudden urge to go, if I could turn back. <laughs> But you do notice when you move, it just like it stays right there. <laughs> like... All right. Well, the now question what... is, do we want to go back to the ship and uh, reconnoiter there? Are we spending the night here in the suites? He said we have a couple of nights, so yeah. we don't have to immediately leave if you guys don't want to. All right, we got to take all this stuff back, though. So. Yeah, but if we... If we go back to the ship, and then we try to go back up to this layer, we, we might okay. all. We, we, can. we, we should be okay. Be here. If you we should be okay. We just have to be in a room that has night in it. It might uh, trigger something. I say we stay here for the night. If they mm -hmm. catch us like walking around after a fresh murder like that, even if we, they might still question us and. That, uh, that, let's not play that yeah. game. Okay. <sighs> We've done enough risking our lives tonight. I'm going to lay next to the fireplace, kind of like a ball. Yeah. I, Aww. I, I'm just going to do the same. I'm going to snuggle. Reggie's taking, Reggie's taking one of the bedrooms. <laughs> I was going to say, I take it there are bedrooms. Yes. Yeah, Several but I want the fireplace. There's they all have a fireplace. There's bedrooms. Oh, well, he wants a double doesn't matter. place. <laughs> Extra. Yeah, Reggie just like flops down like, ah, oh, yes, I <laughs> sinks into the bed this. a little bit. Uh, I miss being in a bed like this. Thousand count. Uh, thousand oh. thread count sheets. Oh, man. Imperious, I walked into Reggie's uh, room Imperian on accident. The, bl the blankets oh. are like baby seal fur. 
I wasn't gonna go there, but sure, yeah. The slippers are made of veal for no friggin' reason. <laughs> they were orphaned first. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Talking at the heartstrings tonight. Cheese and crackers. Wow. So anyway, uh, night falls. Uh, you guys all get the best rest that you've had. Do we? Uh, In your life. Do we? Uh, let me put it this way. From a comfort standpoint, you yeah. can have the best rest of your life. From a psychological standpoint, that's up to your own brains. <laughs> yeah. But from the alcoholic standpoint, I'm there's not quite that. a lot of beverages. Yeah, I uh, might have uh, taken a couple of sips uh, uh, of wine at one point just from the sheer uh, stress of what uh, what happened uh, after their uh, hit. A little bit of red wine, actually good for the digestion. So, uh, you all are able to get to sleep. Uh, and unfortunately, that is where we are going to end it for tonight. As always, uh, if you missed any of the, the this or any of the episodes, I do upload all of them uh, to my YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash trainer Jody. Uh, otherwise, again... That's all for me today, and I'll see you guys next time, all right? Bye-bye.